another summary. We will summarize, we will have a summary ready at our fingertips before we look at the options, right? That's the approach I would take. Anglophone English speaking, Anglophone philosophy, English philosophy or philosophy written and understood in English turned against Hegel for several reasons. His philosophy, okay. So Anglophone philosophy was against Hegel. Hegel was another philosopher. His philosopher was seen as epitome of a grand metaphysical system purporting to lay out a, a priori, purporting to lay out a priori, the fundamental structure of reality. It says it was actually a grand metaphysical theory which claimed that it is laying down the fundamental structure of reality which Hegel called spiritual. He said it was something like a world soul, a spinozistic, spinozistic, pantheistic god. Thus, this is the most important part. First is this. Second is, not only was Hegel's system grandiose metaphysics, it was grandiose theology as well. Anglophone philosophers were against Hegel. Why? It was grandiose metaphysics. It was grandiose theology. It brought in theology along with metaphysics. So they were against him. Clear? Let's look at an option which gives me that. Hegel's grandiose metaphysics and his obsession with spirituality turned Anglophone philosophers against him. Was it only his metaphysics? There was also some part of them going against his theology because it introduced the concept of a pantheistic God. So this doesn't bring in that. It is incomplete. First part and, and also the word obsession. Anglophone philosophy turned against Hegel because of his fundamental structure of reality, which involves spirituality. Was this the real reason they turned against it? Two reasons, the metaphysical part that they talked about and the theology. Grandiose metaphysics, grandiose theology. Those are the words we are looking at. That's not there. At least metaphysics and theology. At least metaphysics and religion. Those are not there. Since Hegel's philosophy was intertwined with religion, Anglophone philosophers turned against him. Anglophone philosophy disagreed with Hegel's philosophy because his metaphysical system was too ambitious. What about the religious part? Did he say too ambitious? What about the religion part? So it was the grand, grand means magnificent, huge. It was the metaphysical aspect which was grandiose, so was the theological aspect grandiose, which, which is what turned against him. So the one that summarizes it is best is, see, because it turns about, yeah, it is the religion part of it, which was the great part. The metaphysics part of it hasn't been mentioned here. Grandiose metaphysics, it says. Okay. The others are all incomplete. 